guys on the bank. We're just gonna kind of work our way down. We're gonna get through a couple docks or whatever that I want to cover. If they're not there, then we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find some fish. How you doing? I'm Captain Billy Pettigrew. We come and get a charters. Um, I pretty much I fish just about any water there is around the state of Florida. I do a lot of tournaments. Uh, name of my website is redfishtails.com and uh, specialize in catching redfish, trout and flounder, majority redfish. Uh, kind of fish all the backwaters of the Daytona Beach area, anywhere from Ponce Inlet up to Smoky Basin, down to Edgewater. Cover a lot of water, catch a lot of fish, man, that's all I'm about. Make sure my clients are happy. Trout. Is it? Yeah. Sure is. Chris too lazy on the camera. I got it. What's the plan? Flip him in the boat. <laughs> Nice trout. First trout of the day. Third fish you missed though. <laughs> <laughs> you want to kiss your fish goodbye for good luck? <laughs> Is that the uh, the standard? Yeah. Right there in his fang. <laughs> that was a good little fight. <laughs> How's the Fisherman's Digest been working out for you? Um, ever since I jumped on board the Fisherman's Digest, you know, I've seen a lot more calls, um, been a lot busier, love the online booking system. It's one of those things that if you're not a, you know, if you're a guide and you want to help boost your business, you, know, you got to give them guys a call, go to their website, you know, talk to Chris, talk to Angelo, and uh, get, book, get them going for you. Huh? Where's the fish? Oh, there you go. 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 There you Nice fish. I haven't caught a snook yet. It's not they're much bigger than that. But Lee's got a nice red on here. Let's check this one out. First red of the day. Yeah, you got yeah, a lot of good spots. Spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 Today we're going to be looking uh, for fish in the docks first thing in the morning, um, see if we can find some redfish cruising the banks. Um, that don't pan out, we're going to probably run up into the Tomoka Basin area. I got some oyster bars that are a little bit deeper water. Um, probably throw some cut bait and some live shrimp out at them, see what we can do with that. If that don't work, um, we're going to probably head up into some mosquito canals, way back up in uh, some man-made construction full of mud and waller and redfish. So. Should make for an interesting time today. Caught up. Good fish. There you go. There you go. First redfish, how's it feel? What do you think about that? A little bit better fight than a crappy or blue huh? Yeah.
What a net job by doing <laughs> <laughs> I think we found the 20 inch fish. Hey, look, it's a red fish by Chris. <laughs> All right, April's whooping me. This is my first red fish today. And, uh,. All three of April's fish were much bigger than this one. But we'll get this one back on its way. Here's my rod. <laughs> <laughs> that rod was dead tempted to go overboard, that's for sure. Neck got hung up. Neck got hung up again. Here we are, Captain. <laughs> really petty group. Finally hooked up into a nice, nice red fish. Beautiful fish. We get this bad boy back in the water and get him going. We're using uh, cut bait today. And that seems to be what these fish are hitting on. Basically today what we fish with is uh, medium light to medium heavy rods. Anywhere from 15 to 20 pound braid. Uh, guaranteed got to use fluorocarbon leader. Um, we use 20 pounds today. Um, throw in the jerk baits and stuff. You know, Weighted hook, getting the baits to bounce off the bottom when we're throwing live bait, free lining, um, just a circle hook, anywhere between a one to two aught hook, um, especially throwing the cut bait, go to a little bit bigger hook is what we had to throw today. Um, you know, and we caught some fish doing it and kind of stuck to our game plan this morning and turned out to be a pretty good day. Great start in the channels. Get some more. Oh, it's a good. You're on your own, man. There's a stud of a redfish right there. Look at all that beauty. Does it even fit in the camera? <laughs> yeah, it does. Beautiful fish. Get this hook popped out on here. Big redfish. That's what we came down here for. What does uh, one need to prepare for a trip like this and how do they book a trip with you? You're going to book a trip with me. Uh, basically what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to go to my website, um, go to my uh, reservations, you'll see a calendar, and on that calendar we'll have days that show you that I'm available or I'm not available. Um, when you're on there, if you see a day that you want to book and I'm, I'm available, click on it. It'll ask you to leave a deposit. I provide everything for you that you need, your license, your rods, your reels, your bait, your tackle. The only thing I ask you to bring is if you want to eat something, bring some snacks. Um, at the end of the day, if you want to keep any fish, I'll clean the fish for you at the end of the day. Make it a fun, easy, outgoing trip, you know, and you're, it's a good time. And I guarantee we will catch fish. And if I don't catch you fish, I will get you another day for free.
on that time. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> good job. That's awesome. That's a good time right there. Woo! Way to go. Congratulations. Thank you. All of a sudden, I heard him spitting right over here. I was like, what? what? I look out I'm there surprised. and he's right there right on top of us. He's right on top of us. That's awesome. My brother is going to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job. Thank you. Thank you for taking me out. You're welcome. My pleasure. I'm glad we were able to get it done. Let's go, let's go up there and take a look at him. Today I'm guiding Holly. She uh, was part of the Flat River Conservation Club youth hunt and uh, brought her out here this morning. Didn't hear any gobbling on the roost. Birds were quiet all morning long. Uh, we were set up about 150 yards further up this trail and we figured we'd move down this direction a little bit more and uh, moved down here, made a couple calls, heard some birds gobbling uh, in a field across from us. So we figured we'd move everything down here, get set up. Got set up, everything's good to go. Uh, Holly only had one shell loaded up in her gun and this bird, I happened to hear him behind the blind. I heard a little spit, got the camera flipped on just in time for Holly to take the first shot the bird wouldn't stop. And uh, first shot missed the bird, but some, for some reason the bird stuck around. He liked what he saw here. And uh, Holly uh, quickly grabbed another shell, got it loaded into the gun. Uh, quite the scramble in the blind, but it paid off and then she made it work on the second shot. What do you think about that, Holly? I think it's awesome. This is a great bird. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you uh, were able to put one down here for us this morning. Yeah. Good job on the shot and great bird. <laughs>